It, it's Rabbi Rosenfeld? Rabbi Ro Lionel Rosenfeld. I have the honor to be the only British Orthodox rabbi at APAC for the second year running. I cannot... And I do it so I can get a fix and go back and tell my congregation what it's like to hear 18,000 people sing the Hatikva and root for the Vice President. We need it in London. London is so wishy-washy when it comes to Zionism. We need this. Is that a message for the British Board of Jewry? Yes, stand up stronger for Israel and for the Jewish people. Don't keep your heads below the parapet. What kind of support are, are you getting now from the existing uh, establishment, infrastructure? There is support. The new president of the Board of Deputies is very strong, but unfortunately he's not always supported by the other deputies, which means that we don't see the support that we need. And it's not strong enough, and it's, it has to be directed against those who are against the Jewish people, and there are many, unfortunately. Would you say that the press is uh, intractably opposed to Israel? I would say so. I mean, I read the Times every day, and the Times leaders are great, but the reporters that they have on the ground in Tel Aviv ignore the, the real facts. Let me give you one perfect example. We had this terrible car ramming in Westminster in London, and the newspapers went to town to remind us that it had happened in Nice, and that it had happened also in Berlin. But to they, downplay it? No, they said, we are, they are with us. Did they, did they mention Israel? Did they mention the scores of car ramings in Israel? It's like Israel is leprous. It has nothing to do with what other terror goes on. And for the first time, the BBC called these people terrorists. When it comes to Israel, they're only militants. How comes they suddenly become terrorists when it happens to their own people in Britain? You're saying that's a bias? There is such a bias. I call the BBC the Beirut Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really upset. And that's why I come here, so I can feel at one with my people 3,000 miles away from London. And that's a, it's a great shame. I'm not saying everyone's like that, of course. We need to have stronger Orthodox Zionism. The British are, are, are uh, very keen on mocking and downplaying the Trump administration. How do you suppose that this will bode for Israel and uh, safety against uh, global Islamism? It's too early to say. I mean, with President Trump, he's had a few... It hasn't all worked out for him. We have to let things happen slowly. We cannot immediately judge the man. Well, we heard Vice President Pence tonight, and he's a sincere man. And what he said, even if half of what he says is, is true, then I have a lot of faith in this administration. What were the words that resounded for you? Resounded for me that this administration will be Israel's friend. The fact that the United Nations uh, uh, spokeswoman is such a, w w made such a wonderful speech last week, the first time we've heard this for so many years. I think there is a change and we have to wait for it to happen. You're welcome.